The curious incident of the dog in the night time sets both events and journeys in train, retold here in rhyme. The journey of Christopher, hero and protagonist, from homeboy comforts, like being level 38 at Tetris, to a young man's confidence, his buildings, romance, destination, along with others' lives that travel on a transformation. The themes of journey, change and reaching new discovery are not just symbolised by Christopher's train odyssey, they're secondly examined by the motive of detection. We find out who killed Wellington, Ed's lies, Judy's dejection, her cache of hidden letters left unanswered in the box. We find this out with Christopher in a string of sickening shocks. We find out she was doing sex from Mrs. Alexander and ran away with Roger, not to some sunny veranda with Jean, the suave French handyman, Gauloise and Pinot Noir, but from feelings that as a mother she was under par. The motif of detection in this play means more than sleuthing. It stands for finding out about yourself, a right of truthing. One way that Ed and Judy do this, suggests the playwright, is reclaiming Siobhan's role when their son is in the sh faces a plight. Two crucial scenes exemplify their learning to discover how they can function better as their son's father and mother. Ed takes over from Siobhan as his son's subconscious guide when little simple Swindon red lines metamorphosize into huge scary yellow ones at London Paddington. He somehow parks his misery to help his wayward son to navigate a rhythm to the London underground to find a way to Chapter Road with Toby safe and sound. And this is how Ed starts detecting what he has to do. That giving love, no questions asked, the answer through and through. And Simon Stevens mirrors this ingenious parallel with Judy's newfound understanding of her role as well. That street scene she takes Siobhan's place in London late one night, replacing her in her son's head, is when she sees the light. Judy detects a bottom line in good parental care. No matter how you feel yourself, your kids just need you there. To summarise, the theme of detection is layered in reams, explored in different characters, events, scenes, even dreams. When Christopher rescues Toby off the dirty tube track, he's not just being a parent in having his rodents back, he's interacting with the punk girl who says, Oh my days! Connecting with a stressed commuter, suggesting the ways his journey of discovery is developmental, growing, and through these many threaded strands Simon Stevens is showing, detection in this play is not so much murder mystery as learning who you are and when to change and how to be. Let's lastly look at how this play is astoundingly designed. As readers, we've to try to pick out patterns, bear in mind the fractures in the narrative between the past and present. These dislocations back and forth in part one are incessant. Siobhan's interlocutions, Judy's exit, Christopher's book. We're jumped around to empathise with C's puzzled outlook. Not only as investigator and kid with special needs, but as a normal teen who'll challenge some things that he sees. The play offers us several templates of robust designs, like avatars of symmetry. We're given constant signs how this text's vision balances its worldview and inscape. As if to find himself, our hero needs to first escape. We get the astronaut's template of space, stars constellation, the maths template of numbers ordering life like an equation, two templates of railway networks, both model and real, suggesting tracks and timetables, helping the boons to feel the white noise of their breakup can be seen as a distortion, and that recovery comes by using templates of proportion. So, when the play begins and ends with dogs in the night time, 
through Wellington, then Sandy, the audience is meant to find another instance of this drama's balance of production. The lexical field of pet care encircling its construction. As if, from out of bad, good can come. The murderer at large could just have committed a little crime worth no police charge. As if the idioms Christopher thinks are make-believe baloney can, with a little alchemy, be really not that phony. A dream come true is possible if played for well enough. Detection isn't looking for deceit or double bluff. What once was negligible can regain its rightful place. A savant who sees everything can let go, give things space. Does this mean I can do anything? is his final question. Perhaps Siobhan does not respond because of the suggestion the hero's learnt he can do some things. Progress from the start. But youth is made for dreaming. This boy dreams from a big heart.